The Buescher Band Instrument Company was a manufacturer of musical instruments in Elkhart, Indiana, from 1894 to 1963. Topic history The company was founded by Ferdinand August Gus Buescher born Elk Township, Noble County, Ohio 26 April 1861, died Elkhart, Indiana 29 November 1937. He accompanied his family to Goshen, Indiana and then to Elkhart in 1875. In 1876 he found employment with C.G. Kahn's fledgling band instrument factory. Buescher gained access to an original Adolphe Sax saxophone in the possession of E. A. Lefebvre, and Kahn agreed to producing a copy of that instrument. By 1888 he was promoted to foreman and producing the first American-made saxophones for Kahn. In 1890, while still employed with Kahn, he began producing band emblems at home and was setting up his own shop. In the fall of 1893 he opened the Buescher Manufacturing Company at 1119 N Main Street which made band instruments and other metal products, in partnership with John L. Collins, a clothing merchant, and Harry L. Young, a salesman. In March 1901 he patented a cornet unusual in that the valves were of unequal lengths. True Tone became the trademark name for band instruments made by the Buescher Manufacturing Company. In 1903 there was a disastrous fire at Buescher's factory. In 1904 the business was reorganized and renamed the Buescher Band Instrument Company, reflecting its sole focus on producing band instruments. In 1916 Buescher sold a major share of his company to six businessmen including Andrew Hubble Beardsley. Buescher remained president until 1919 when Beardsley assumed that title. Buescher was vice president and general manager of the company until 21 January 1929 when he resigned these positions, remaining on staff as a consultant engineer. In 1926 Buescher Band Instrument Company was joined with the Elkhart Band Instrument Company some claim that Buescher was bought by Elkhart Band Instrument, a company founded two years previously by Beardsley with Kahn's Carl Greenleaf as secretary treasurer. The Elkhart brand was retained by Buescher for its second-line instruments after the company was dissolved upon Beardsley's death in 1936. Though Buescher manufactured many kinds of brass instruments, the company was known primarily for its saxophones which competed successfully with Kahn and Martin. Buescher saxophones became distinctive with snap-in pads, patented by Buescher in 1921, and screw-in gold-plated Norton Springs, introduced in late 1931. During the 1920s Buescher also made innovative limited production models, such as the tipped bell soprano and straight alto saxophones. Buescher stayed true to Adolf Sax's concept for saxophone sound into the early 1930s, gaining the favor of classical saxophonist Sigurd Rascher and those influenced by him. Buescher adapted its sound concept to the bigger, bolder sounds favored by dance orchestras and jazz musicians, modifying its aristocrat model and releasing the 400 top hat and cane model in 1940. The aristocrat and 400 models remained popular with professional players through the early 1950s, until instruments with more modern keywork gained favor and changes to Buescher's product line were coldly received. By the late 1950s, Buescher's production of professional line saxophones was a small fraction of what it had been at the start of the decade. Buescher's presence in the professional saxophone market ended when it was acquired by the H&A Selmer Company in 1963, although a nominal Buescher 400 model continued to be produced through the mid-1970s. Buescher became the main supplier of student-grade saxophones to the H&A Selmer Company, producing the vast majority of such instruments marketed under Selmer's Bundy brand. 
The Elkhart line was continued until 1959, followed by Buescher's deprecated aristocrat line as their offering in the student market. After Buescher was sold to Selmer, Selmer allowed the use of the Buescher trademark for products sold under Buescher's established distribution network. During the 1970s, the market position of the Buescher aristocrat, Selmer Bundy model declined under competition from Yamaha's more up-to-date and more efficiently produced student instruments. The Buescher brand was retired by Selmer in 1983. After the Kahn Selmer Company was formed in 2003, it briefly tried to revive the Buescher brand to market Asian made saxophones. The Buescher Company also produced some flutes and clarinets between 1910 and 1920. The saxonet, also known as the clarifon, and the clarabell. A clarinet with a curved metal barrel and a curved metal bell pitched in A, B flat, C or E flat. They were produced with the Albert system, and later with the Boehm system. Gretsch and Supertone were merchandiser branded stencils of the Buescher Saxonet. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Instrument models. Topic: French horns. Single French horn. Buescher produced a single French horn in F, with a serial hash range including 259,090. Double French horn 400. Also serial number 5,000 range. Buescher Aristocrat Excellent Flute serial number 145,941. Paulo Moreira Brazil 2014 Topic Clarinets Buescher Oval Logo HR Wooden and Metal Clarinets in Albert and Asterisk Boehm Systems Buescher True Tone Clarinets possibly Penzel Muller stencils Buescher 400 Clarinets Selmer era Buescher Aristocrat B flat clarinet Selmer era Note these pictures may or may not be of a clarinet made by the Buescher Band Instrument Company The engraved emblem on this clarinet shows that the brand is American Professional The link below states that Buescher was the retailer of American Professional instruments Topic: Trumpets. Buescher B flat true tone professional. There were a wide variety of true tone models, many custom made for the professional musician. Louis Armstrong recorded with a Buescher true tone 10 to 22 R trumpet in the late 1920s. The Aristocrat was a true tone professional trumpet previous to the Selmer buyout and became a student horn after 1963. It was a step down from the true tone. After the traditional true tone trumpets were the Buescher 400 true tone. These are more modern sounding and good for big band jazz. There were three models. Brass with nickel, silver plate, and silver plate with sterling silver bell called Super 400. <laughs> Topic. Trombones Buescher Grand silverplated with gold-plated bell engraving Buescher 400 early models had slanted braces on bell section and offset slide tubes with the upper slide tube roughly 2 inches behind the lower. Later models had straight braces. 500 bore. <laughs> Topic. Tubas Buescher silver plated military band style upright three valve B flat flat Buescher silver plated upright three valve E flat tuba with small shank mouthpiece receiver Buescher phones trade name for Sousa phones 
Topic: <laughs> Flutes. Buescher 400. Buescher Special 2000. Topic: <laughs> Saxophones. Early models 1894 to 1931, evolving and sometimes concurrently produced designs without distinct model names, true tone trademark not instrument model name adopted for instruments produced by the Buescher Manufacturing Company at an unknown date prior to 1904. True Tone, the Buescher MFG. Co., Elkhart, Eind with bell tuning fork logo engraved on bell on pre-1904 versions. The Buescher, Elkhart Eind, engraved on bell and True Tone, logo stamped on the rear of the body tube on post-1904 versions, all have split bell keys, early versions have double octave keys, metal key buttons and rollers, soldered tone holes, direct G-sharp key action, single octave key, black hard rubber rollers introduced ca. 1905, drawn tone holes and mother of pearl key buttons introduced ca. 1916, concurrent production of drawn and soldered tonehole types into early 1920s. Some examples from around 1920 reported to have experimental, elliptical cross section body tubes, F link G sharp key action, snap in pads introduced in early 1920s, front F key introduced in 1924 and standard by 1926, four roller LH cluster introduced in 1926, some straight altos and tipped bell sopranos produced in 1920s, used by Sigurd Rascher 1928–1932 New Aristocrat 1931–1934, alto and tenor only, screw-in gold-plated Norton Springs introduced, LH cluster enlarged, neck options introduced, split bell keys, black rollers. The New Aristocrat Engraving, used by Sigurd Rascher and briefly by Charlie Parker Aristocrat 1934-1940. The Buescher Aristocrat. Engraving with Art Deco design, left-sided bell keys replace split bell keys, previous model baritone continued to 1936 with new engraving. Buescher. Wordmark stamped on enlarged G sharp key touch, yellow or tan rollers, referred to as Series 1 by Saxpix.com, used by Bud Freeman, Earl Warren, Ike Quebec, Elliot Riley, Elkhart Models, 1936 1959, trademark name retained by Buescher after the Elkhart Band Instrument Company was dissolved, student models also marketed as various merchandisers. Stencil brands and eventually as Selmer Bundy. Aristocrat models 140 alto, 156 tenor, 129 baritone, 1940 to 1955. I beam cross section key guards replace round wire guards, alto and tenor, neck and bore change. The Buescher Aristocrat. Engraving, right hand G sharp trill key and large engraved B logo until 1950. Instruments with B logo and trill key referred to as Series 2 and without as Series 3 by Saxpix. Com, used by Johnny Hodges and Al Sears of the Duke Ellington Orchestra S80 Baritone 1955 nickel-plated keywork, right rear facing bell keys, marketed as Buescher Aristocrat 1955-1959, Buescher 1960-1963, and Selmer Bundy Aristocrat models 141 alto, 157 tenor 1955 
1958–1959, the Bucher aristocrat engraving, nickel-plated keywork, right rear facing bell keys, referred to as Series 4 by Saxpix.com aristocrat models S33 Alto, S40 Tenor 1960–63, left side bell keys, round wire key guards, simplified LH cluster mechanisms, simplified engraving, simplified Bucher stamp on G sharp key touch nickel plated keywork student model also marketed as Selmer Bundy referred to as series 5 by saxpix.com Pierre it built olds parisian type student saxophones also marketed as Bucher aristocrat stencils during the series 5 period 400 model altos tenors 1940 to 1963 all have extra large bell bell keys on right rear of bell tube high post keywork nickel plated rods and hinge tubes Bucher 400 wordmark stamped on G sharp key touch 400 models B7 alto B11 tenor 1940 to 1958 silver bell flare ring keys with body finish lacquer silver or gold underslung octave key two piece side B flat key brown rollers Bucher 400 in silver script soldered to bell top hat and cane logo engraved on bell 400 models S1 Alto, S20 Tenor, 1958-1963, nickel plated bell flare ring and keys, lacquer finish only, underslung octave key, two piece side B flat key, the Bucher 400, top hat and cane logo engraved on bell through 1959, Bucher Super 400 without top hat and cane logo engraved on bell, yellow rollers 1960 1963 400 models S5 Alto, S25 Tenor, 1960-1963, no bell flare ring, nickel plated keys, lacquer finish only, overslung octave key, one piece side B flat key, yellow rollers, Bucher 400, engraved on Bell Selmer, Bucher 400, 1963-CA, 1977, Alto, Tenor, and Baritone non-professional models with large bell, no bell flare ring, nickel plated keys, left side bell keys on altos and tenors, right rear on baritones, underslung octave key on early version, then overslung, one piece side B flat key, white or yellow rollers, Bucher 400 engraved on bell, simplified Bucher stamp, number 400 on G sharp key touch, also marketed as Selmer Signet intermediate model, Yanagasawa model 6 soprano marketed as Bucher 400 stencil for some period between 1968 and 1977, Bucher 400 line discontinued CA. 1977 Selmer Bucher Aristocrat 1963 CA. 1983, student model identical to the Selmer Bundy with exception of brand engraving, some examples with painted oval logo and lettering, ill-advised experiments with pads and other details from the late 1970s, switch to Aristocrat 200, Bundy 2 model with right side bell keys in 1979. Bucher Aristocrat. Line discontinued CA. 1983. Con Selmer, Bucher, stencils mid 2000s, Bucher, brand briefly revived by Con Selmer Corporation to market Asian-made saxophones. Rationale for Bucher, branding unknown. Topic: <laughs> Bassoons. Model number 3294 Model number 69 Topic <inaudible> Baritones Aristocrat engraving true tone valves Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Sources New Grove Music Dictionary. Bucher. McMacken, Dean. Musical Instrument Manufacturing in Elkhart, Indiana. Unpublished TypeScript, 1987, available at Elkhart Public Library. 
The Elkhart Truth, the 29th of November 1937, obituary of Ferdinand August Buescher. Elkhart City Directories, available Elkhart Public Library. Topic. See also. C. G. Khan Martin Band Instrument Company